the House of Oak hosts Asante Protocol here at Aqua Sports Stadium, will they be able to beat the occupants or the occupants be able to overcome? The seventh week of standing Ghana Premier League game between the defending league champions, Accra Hats and the current league leaders, Kumasi Asante Kotoko, they are bitter rivals in a game that officially will wrap up the first half of the league as the round of six, 17 round of matches were cleared last weekend. All is set for this game here at the Accra Sports Stadium. And it's here, the big game is here, the game that many, many have been looking for, forward to see it here. And when you talk about saving the best for the last, there you have it. It is going to be the last fish that's round up the first round. And it's going to be hard at home to Kotoko. And the game asks two questions, one each for either side, the big one from then. And first, super class for Sula Ali Muntari. He's played in all manner of derbies. He's played in Inter Juventus, Milan Inter, Milan Juventus. And now he's playing in the first super class in joining Accra at the book. Where is matter here? That is the squad of Accra at the book, the place of Samuel Boateng. Mudasiru takes the place of Justice Play and, and Kumasiya Santi Kotoko. There we go, game underway here in Accra. It's Kumasi Asante Kotoko, Sharif Mohamed with a long one inside. Here is Dixon of Fuakwa. The fell away from the area of Hatsabok. Here is Obin Jr. Lovely control on his left foot. Good back heel from Banya. Here is Awako. Awako! Brilliant save from Danlad Ibrahim. It's a corner for the Forbians. That was an incredible ball from which one after to begin with. And Obin Jr. did well to find Banya. A glass now who offers support to Banya, who finds him as well. Drags the ball to his weaker side, his left foot. Gets the shot away, but not strong enough to be the goalkeeper. Another opportunity missed by Daniel Afriya Banya. Has to go causing early problems for Kumasi Asante Kotoko. Yeah, he came from the short corner kick, Muntari. He's sending the ball into the ball. Banya should be doing a lot better from there. Kotoko's defending was poor. Somebody should be getting tighter. Some Glass and Awaku finds Sule Muntari. Back to Awaku. Good play from Atabok. Awaku with a lovely ball to Obin Jr. Daladi Brian comes out. Obin Jr. makes the final contact. Yeah. And it's a corner for Hatsabok. Uh, and Kotoko are all over the place in midfield. That lovely one two between Awaku and Muntari was brilliant. I'm not, I'm not sure that should be a corner kick really. I think the ball came off. Um, the referee. Afuako was trying to get to Mbella, but there's some lovely work done there by Dennis Corsa. Remember, this is this maiden. Ah. Lovely ball to get to Obin Jr. Tries the back heel to get to Awako, but it's good tracking back from Imoro. This is lovely from the left back. Great composure. Here is Imoro's cross. Ado gets it away. Now it's Muntari. Awesome. Good play, Muntari. Wants to set up Bani, but it's a two-on-two. As Asante Kotoko have two men up against Azabox, two attackers. A lovely skill by Muntari. Straight away looking at what he wants to do, and that's what Hatsabo are doing. They're looking for the quick switch. Involving Kotoko and Hassan Awaku swings one in, is headed away by Afuakwa. Fatal gets the header. Muntari! Silla Muntari nearly scored a spectacular for the Phobians. That was a chance. That was a big, big chance. And Kotoko couldn't clear the alliance. And Fatal's head, it's, it's, it's the ball is all over the place. And a Japan. Good play from Kotoko. Here is a Japan. And he beats Ado to it. Here goes the gangling right back. It is a Japan with a cut back. Barnier, he beats Ganyu to it. Here is Barnier. Now Obin Jr. Obin Jr. Against the woodwork. Obin Jr. denied. That was a perilous drive with his left foot. As you'd expect. Again, it's that long kick by Atta. What a kick that is. But Mubarak completely misjudged the flights of the ball. And Bani is aware of where his strike partner is. So Ben Jr. just controls the ball to his left. Does everything right. Beats that lad, but not the post. Now, Gestine Japan. Montari's work rate has been impressive in the 20 minutes we've seen so far. Tiru. Now Mfege, up, making an easy catch. Here, Lamte goes down from the tight game, but this time it's Imoro. That was close. 
Here is a Fokker up against the top. He goes past the top. A Fokker goes for goal into the side net. But that was selfish from a Fokker because those Infege and Tuga all looking for this pass from a Fokker right there yeah. in the box. Lovely footwork. Just threw this man down the Tuga. He doesn't get it. But referee whistles and Montari finally gets the decision this way. I'm not sure that's a foul, Montari. Yeah, received from here. I think I think he loses the ball. I think that was a good press from Mudasiri in the way he picked, picked the ball from him. And Montari is furious about something, but I think that is a really soft foul for Hatsufuk and for Montari. Again, right, so there you see it. I think it's the handball. Yeah, it's the handball from the two that, that it is Richmond Lamte scored against us when he played for Inter Allies last season. Now it's in Fege. Goes past Corsa and Fege. Here is Awako. Now Daniel Afria Barnier. She goes down in the box. Show from Infege. He beats Mohamed Al Hassan to it. Asmas cross! And Etuga can't find his 12th goal of the season right from close range. Yeah, it's, it's poor defended by Hatsufuk because Mohamed Al Hassan has been drawn into the wide area. So once the ball gets into the box, look at Etuga who holds his run on the penalty spot area. Should be doing a lot better, but because he's got time, he's got space. Cameroonian is up against the house of Ocampton for Tau. Now Patrick Asma, Kotoko coming close. Lamptez ball is straight to Richard Atta. Kumasi Asante Kotoko causing problems for the four beams. He's got a yeah. brilliant whip on his deliveries, Asma. Now got a chance there, Asma again is picking out Lamptez, who's arriving late into the box. And that, those late runs into the box are up. It's in Fergie, now a Japan. Over elaboration and Ansaboche comes down. Thanks for the phobians together with Corsa and Corsa in trouble. He gives away possession. It is Infege now. Lante, Lante, great save from goalkeeper Richard Atta to deny Richmond Lante for the second time. Yeah, and it's all started from the press. It's what I spoke about the hard press from Kotoko. If Fergie does the right thing here, I was wondering if, if Lamptey could have gone with the first time about it, have controlled the ball. At all, who only moments ago seemed to have been struggling with something, just couldn't get it. It's Mohamed Al Hassan with a lovely acrobatic clearance as a walk is fouled by Mudasiru. He gets that plus. I was wondering if the ball had not crossed the line, but he had it. Mohamed Hassan did well. Just didn't want to kick it out for a, a throw in. Ganyu gets the ball from Obin Junior, but it's still Junior in possession. Challenge from Ganyu. It is still Obin Junior. Go play. Now here is Awako trying to set up Mensa. But the flag was up against Isaac Mensa for offside. Yo, Ben Junior showed great strength here. And there you see him, Isaac Mensah, he has straight offside. But I think even if he was on, his first touch lets him down a bit.